Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And today we're going to be talking about how to do makeup when you're wearing a mask. And at first, when we had to start wearing these masks, I still did my full makeup routine and it got all over my mask on the inside and it was just really gross. It honestly made it hard to breathe because I was just breathing in makeup. So I decided to revise my makeup routine and this is what I normally do for every day. I mostly just do the eyebrows and my eyes and I keep my skin bare. So I'm just gonna show you my little mask makeup routine. And without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Okay, so we're gonna get started just with my eyebrows. So currently I have been using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. That has been a cheaper alternative to, you guys know, I was using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, like, religiously. But now I have a cheaper alternative, and these are only $5 instead of 10 So what I do with these pencils, if you're not a pencil user, is I first underline the bottom of my brow. I start at the curve and then I go towards the front. Just like that. And then I comb all the hairs down and then I outline the top of my brow. And then from there, I'll comb the hairs back up. I will take my finger and I'll just kind of swipe on the front just so it doesn't look boxy, but it looks feathery on the front. And then I use the Essence Make Me Brow in Blonde. And I will just set all the brow hairs. And that's what I do. But I come back to my brows later, so that's where we're going to keep them. But we're going to actually move on to eyeshadow real fast. So normally I don't do much for eyeshadow. I may just use bronzer, put it all over my eyelids, and call it good. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to do something a little bit more intricate. And I'm wearing pink leggings today, so I thought I would do pink on my eyes just to match. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer just to conceal the veins on my eyelids because my eyelids can get very, very veiny and they are very dark. So I just want to have a blank canvas here. So I'm just going to tap that out real fast. And then this is, I'm trying to figure out what brand this is from. I honestly couldn't tell you because... I've destroyed it. I think it's from Rimmel. It's just a pressed powder that I'm just going to use a brush to set down my eyelid real fast. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. And then from here, I'm going to use the Femme Rosa ColourPop palette. I think it's actually called the She palette. It has like two names, so I'm not sure. This definitely is not available anymore. I've had it for a long time, but I am going to use the shade Duchess, whoops, which is this pink shade right here in the corner. It's almost the same color as the actual palette. And I'm just going to find a fluffy brush and just put that all over my lid. All 
all right there is just the matte pink eyeshadow i really made sure i diffused it out up here on the top by doing little circular motions and just making it not a harsh line so from there i'm actually i'm thinking i'm just going to take the other side of this brush or my pinky to do a little bit of an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna use this sparkly pink shade, which is called Babe, I think it's called. It's hard to tell. I'm just gonna put my pinky in there and then put that on the inner corner. Obviously, you don't have to do any of this. You could just do the bronzer that I was talking about, but I feel like since we're wearing masks all the time, it's kind of fun to have a little bit more going on with our eyeshadow since we can't show off the rest of our makeup so that's just my thought obviously I don't do this every day but and then real fast just gonna take a little pink on the fluffy brush do it underneath not a lot just very lightly and then from there we're going to do mascara so my mascara fusion right now is really random, but I'm first going to curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara on my top lashes. I really am not a true fan of this mascara, but it's what I have in my collection right now, so... I'm waiting to use it up but my mascara recommendations if you're looking for a voluminous mascara and I feel like volume in your lashes is important right now since you can't show off all of your face to have some sort of volume to your lashes so the ones I recommend are the L'Oreal Lash Paradise that has always been a favorite of mine. I also like the NYX Worth the Hype. That one is really good. And then for a high-end one, I like the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I've used that one before. I had a mini and I really liked that one. So those are my suggestions for voluminous mascaras. So Put that on the top lashes for the bottom this one is almost out and that's why i'm using it on the bottom lashes it's the clinique high impact mascara this is just an average mascara for me nothing too special about it but it is really really dried out so that's why i've just been using it on the bottom lashes for now Okay, so finally we are going to finish off by making sure the brows are all filled in and we don't have any holes. I ran out of the other one, but I had a backup, so I'm just using a new pencil, but it's the exact same, the e.l.f. one. And I just like to go over it and just make sure that there's no holes in my brows that were missed by the brow gel. Okay, so obviously you can do more or less whatever you want. If I am going somewhere before work or school or after work or school, sometimes I'll put on a light BB cream just because I still want my makeup to look normal and balanced. Right now it kind of looks weird with like the heaviness on the eyes and then nothing else on my face. But you can totally do that if you feel comfortable with that. I only do that sometimes, but today I'm just working all day, so I don't really need to do anything else. But here's the final makeup look, and let me show you what it looks like with the mask. So, sorry if you can't hear me, but here's what it looks like with the mask. See, I only have the things that are showing that are done, and it looks like you're still really put together, even though you just did your eyebrows and mascara <laughs> i'm gonna take that off for this outro that is the makeup that i just wanted to show you i hope that you guys can incorporate it in your everyday routine for however long you have to wear these masks so i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up 
subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!